Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another day at the salon or another vlog, I guess. This is the start of another vlog. So I don't know if you can hear that noise, but I do have the tea kettle going. It's gonna be a busy day today. Brought my lunch, which I do pretty well, pretty well every day, but I made sure to bring something really quick today because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. I do, however, have some fantastic chocolate chip cookies. So, I can't wait to get into those. I don't have much else to tell you. I do have an order coming in today uh, from Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, so that'll be fun because there is, it's mostly skincare but it's, I'm pretty sure 100% stuff that I've never used. So maybe I'll unpack that with you later. But that's about it. My room is ready for the day. I'm actually, in the last vlog, oh, we need to shut the kettle off. In the last vlog, I talked about putting bottles together to help things go a little further. So that's what I'm doing this morning with my Ugly Duckling matte top coat because I discovered that I do need the matte top coat in order to use these fun pigments. So I'm trying to make more out of that top coat because I didn't have very much left. I do have a couple of tack free ones, but I tried it and didn't work as well. So today I'm doing, Kind of what I like to call a little bit of admin work. Um, this is my top coats, base coats, um, peach wand, anything else like that. Anything else, the accessories like polishes, these are all just polishes, glitters of course, but these are the accessories. So I am pouring over. So I have two, three, and four of everything in here. So I'm just kind of pouring over. I did a rubber top gel. So I had another one that was almost empty. This one was about halfway. This one is my glitter one. So this is my dirty top coat. I try to call it my art top coat because dirty top coat just doesn't sound very good. But essentially that's what this is. It's got glitter in it. It's got pigment in it. Um, it's just that dirty top coat. So. I have that one switched over. I do still have two more rubber top gels that I think are both brand new, but I will take a look at those like as I go through. Um, I am going to, basically what ends up happening is I take one of them like this, no wipe, ugly duckling, I set it down here. So I set it just down on my cabinet and then I go up through and I find matches to the same thing and I set them down, I prop them up against the wall, and I let them pour over, clean up the bottles, throw out the empty, put it back on the shelf. So that gets everything cleaned up, it gets everything gone through. There are some things here that are not new. I have a artistic pH nail prep that has been there for a minute that probably needs to go in the garbage. I'm gonna check it first. Sometimes um, some of that stuff I'll end up using for the practice hand or I'll end up using for tutorials. No, not pH prep because that's really unnecessary, but you get the picture. Hey guys, good morning. Okay, you seem, you seem a little low this morning. Um, I'm just getting ready for my first client and I needed to do, I still need to do a few, what I call admin things. They have nothing to do with paperwork, but cleaning off bottles, putting them together like you've seen me doing before, filling alcohols, acetones, that sort of thing, always ends up needing done midweek. Um, I filled up lint-free wipes yesterday just on, like I ran out, so I filled them up. Sometimes I just end up doing things that way. Um, but, okay, so the set of bigger, Alex drawers behind me that kind of have like my glitter and stuff in them. I really want to organize that just a little bit and like it's not a full-on clean out whatever because I did just do that not that long ago but I really just want to organize it so I figure if I tell you guys then I'll be more inclined to do it. Is that how that works? I think that's how that works. So that's what we're going to do and 
I want to get some Instagram post nails done. Um, so I literally got this out and have two stickies on it and no tips. Like I was trying to pick out the shape of the nail that I wanted to put on there. Oh, <laughs> we have new portable phones and someone's trying to leave a message right now. It never used to come on like that. So I don't really know what's happening. Um, so I was trying to pick a shape and anyway, my client came in because of course I was trying to do it like five seconds before my client came in. So I abandoned that ship, but I gotta get on my phone and look through my recreate folder and just see what's there, see what kind of shape I wanna do, see what kind of whatever I'm in for. The way the sun is shining, it feels so warm on my back. We're supposed to get part of like Hurricane Elsa, is it? Um, so Elsa's mad and I don't know, it's gonna be, what's today? It's today Thursday, it's gonna be like tomorrow or Thursday, tomorrow or Thursday. It's gonna be tomorrow or Saturday before we get anything from it, but if anything cool happens, I'll try to get some footage for you, but assuming it's just not gonna be a big deal, but anyway, those are always the ones that are the worst. I'm really swollen this morning. I'm feeling really like full of allergies this morning, not sure. Also think it could be the pressure from the weather. Like, I don't know if you guys are sensitive to that, but I always have been. So I woke up this morning with a huge headache and like black and blue eyes. I didn't even try to cover them because rain headache. I, I say allergies, but it's like pressure headache. Um, but it's going away now. I brought, when I get a pressure headache like that, I always bring a peanut butter sandwich for breakfast because if you're gonna take that much uh, Advil, Tylenol, and turmeric, then you probably should have something in your stomach, so. I do bring a peanut butter sandwich because there's nothing any worse than being hungry. But all I'm doing with you guys right now is babbling. Well, it looks like my eyes are closed. Wow, they are really puffy. I'm babbling to waste time because I'm procrastinating. So I'm going to get carried on with that. So I'm going to try to get those Instagram nails on. I just am not taking pictures of clients anymore. I don't, no real reason other than there's more cleaning to do now between clients there's more things to do so I tend to like let them go when we're done and instead of hauling in a light I don't know I used to have it set up so it was so easy I would just grab my ring light like it would sit right there and I would have the camera and I would take the pictures and and it was fun and I would edit them a little bit usually I would crop them in and lighten them up is mostly what I would do and post them but it's just not something I'm doing anymore and for no real reason other than I continued to take them and then they just seemed like it was never really working out like the lighting was off I just kind of lost my groove with it so I really thought I would do some on the liquid curl practice hand um, my website is closed at the moment you can still get them at AR nail supply um, but I want to test out a few of the magpie pigments that I got I want to play around with those a little bit and I just would really like to do some Instagram nails. So I have a couple of breaks today. I'm going to try to do that. And I'm going to try to do that clean out. So those are the two things that I'm hoping you can expect out of this vlog. You know, we'll see. Okay, bye. I gotta I get, get you on my stuff. Alexa, stop. I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, so I'm just sitting down. I've done a couple of clients. I have a little bit of a break right now where I had a cancellation, but I didn't fill it in. It really worked out. So I am doing a set of nails for an Instagram post that needs to be done. I haven't done an Instagram post in so long and it both matters and doesn't at the same time, but captions. I think captions sometimes is one of the things that like holds me back from writing an Instagram post. What do you write in a nail caption? Like, do you write something meaningful? Do you try to, a lot of times I try to look up <clears throat> quotes, lyrics, um, stuff that I can cite, basically. Like, stuff that I, what is, what's happening here? Stuff that I didn't come up with, basically, <laughs> is what I usually use. And I'm not ashamed to tell you that I didn't come up with it. I just didn't come up with it. I'm not good at writing those things, but anyway. So if you guys have a trick or like a template or like something that you use to write captions, 
let a girl know because it's getting rough over here. Um, so the nails that I'm doing, they're going to be jalapeno peppers and I have the thumb left to do. I started doing them basically as my client was walking in the door because I work better under pressure. So I started doing them then. I have to put the highlight, I have to do the thumb, I have to put the highlight on them and I have to put the stem on them. And they're going to be super cute. I think I'm probably going to make them matte because they are for pictures. And then they're going to go in my box where my nail art goes. I need to start adding more to that. Like it's a bit ridiculous. I bought the box with intentions on filling it and just really haven't. So I want to have some stuff that's like more simple and some stuff that's more like uh, designs like... Like 3D, like 3D designs. Like I have the gnome from the winter time. He's pretty cute. I kind of enjoyed doing him. But then there's like, oh, I'm missing a nail. It fell off. There's like this kind of stuff. Like I want to do more of this stuff too. Because that's obviously super cute, but also takes a significant amount of time. So it's not as if I can just between clients bang one of those out and have it in the box and ready to rock and roll like this one. Like that took, like that, that took forever, right? It takes a long time. So I'm gonna do this. It's not gonna take terribly long. And then there's another one that I really wanna do that is through, um, like drawing like that. So I will get that one started because I think it's gonna to need to be like sketched out first. And then I might have time tomorrow to work on it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drink my tea. Don't worry about the uh, sanitation going on here for these nails. They're not press-ons, they're not going to anybody, they're not being sold to anyone. Nobody's gonna wear them, they're too big for me. Um, so yeah, they're just going in the box. I feel like I have to defend my like sanitation decisions sometimes. Like I'm drinking tea at my desk, but I'm gonna work on this and then everything's gonna be sanitized again before my next person comes in. It's a lot of work. I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, bye. Okay, so I have just up and decided, Alexa, off, to do a color scheme with my Instagram posts. So, you know, sometimes it's interesting that when it comes to social media, um, some people are planners. Some people need to plan ahead, they thrive on that. Um, I, however, tend to fly and thrive on the seat of my pants. So this is what we're doing. It's becoming a, I just really liked the colors I was using for those jalapeno nails. And I was like, God, how can I make these into something else similar? So I found it. This is what I'm going to do. So we are going to have, we have jalapenos and we are also going to have cherries I believe because red then I'd like to do something with the green and I wish you guys were all here so that I could like bounce this off of you in real time <laughs> I might ask my Instagram um, Instagram is always super helpful lately I find it's almost like my stories are getting pushed out to the people that actually I don't know what's happening here. the people that actually respond like Sometimes when I'll put a question out there or whatever, there's like, it's almost like Instagram shadow bans it a little bit. It doesn't get the views hardly at all. Like one day, a couple of weeks ago, I asked like a poll question or a question. I can't remember what it was. It's probably just something silly, but I just asked a question and it, it just nosedived. Like, I, I don't know when I use that little sticker, what, what it's got against me, but anyway. That turned into a rant. But so I'm using oval for the next nails. I used square for the ones I just did. So I decided oval would be fun. Actually, oval is the shape I picked out yesterday and thought I was going to use on the jalapenos, but that's not how it worked out. So 
I'm going to get these done really quickly because I do have another appointment. I'm just like half eating, half filling myself up. Anyway, I'll get back to you on what's next. I'll let you know if I have any really good ideas. You'll be the first to know. to the cleaning portion of the vlog the part we've all been waiting for these are the this is the stuff that's like the most fun to watch but sometimes it takes a minute to get enough ambition built up to want to actually do the chore so I am just going to I'm gonna move you around a little bit so I'm gonna just clean this off enough to be able to um, lay things up here. This is the color that I want to use to do my own nails. I seem to think I'm going to do that today. Most popular answer? Probably not. Okay, so let's put this in the building back. Put some of these back. So you guys know I try to keep the newer ones down here. Um, sometimes it's difficult. Just with space. Okay, I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm also gonna, so these are the dots that I use on top of the bottles to make it so that you can see them better. We've talked about this before. Um, link to those is in my Amazon store down below. But I just keep them in that little vase. I thought it was cute, they were easy to get a hold of. But there's none left right now, so I might relocate that. That is not going to fall off of there, so I'm going to push this over just temporarily because I want to be able to use some of this space. So the drawer that we're going to do today is the top drawer. This is the one that gets opened the most in this cabinet. And I do have to say, I know a lot of you guys as nail techs, makeup artists, even just like people in general, love to use the Alex drawers from Ikea, and I understand. Like I have had these Alex drawers. This one set in particular that kind of sits like beside me right here that has all of the stuff in it that I use multiple times daily. Um, files, wipes, like seriously wipes. Like how, how, what thing could I reach for more? Um, the drawer is getting, I don't know if you can hear that. It's getting a little loud. It literally needs some WD-40 and probably some of the dust blown out of there. I mean, there would be dust in there from the nail files, which is like grit. And there would be nail dust in there. No doubt, it's getting a little loud. Might not quite glide like it used to, but works like a charm. So Ikea, yeah, did good. And I'm sure I'm not the first person to notice that. The other drawers, like this one, quieter, right? Um, but zero complaints with the Ikea stuff. I see a lot of posts lately about desks, like people asking questions about the Ikea desks. So I have the larger Alex drawers on the side, which is where I keep a lot of things. Let's just say that for right now. But we're gonna go through this series, kind of, of cleaning them out. And this is my desk. So this is the, let's look it up so that I don't steer you wrong. This is the Ikea Linman, Linman desktop. It is $30, cannot go wrong. Shipping is messed up to me, so it's like 200 bucks to ship. But anyway, regardless, I just have to drive five hours to the store. And I'm gonna try to see if I can read you really quick the dimensions. While that's loading, I have the legs on this. And I have one set of Alex drawers, the regular size Alex drawers on this side. 
So those are the drawers that I work out of. And of course, if you guys aren't new here, you also know that I have a set of Alex drawers over here. Now, at some point, sometime, I do want to take, I do want to get a third set of those drawers. I because one one I want one to stay there, and I want the other one to go replace where these legs are. We'll see how that works out. It doesn't leave you much space for your for your actual legs, for your for your people legs. We'll see. So the measurements, just in case you're wondering, on this Linman tabletop is 39 and 3 eighths by 23 and 5 eighths. So it's basically 40 by 24. Keep that in mind. You might not want a desk that wide. It works really well for me. I feel funny because you're only looking at my mouth moving. It works really well for me, but some nail techs that are don't want to sit like I sit. Maybe your body is shaped different. Maybe you're really short from the waist up. Maybe you have short arms. Maybe you have big boobs. I don't know. Whatever it is, maybe you don't want that wide. So sit down and measure it and just make sure that you want that wide. I have put a lot of thought into it before I got a desk this wide because it was significantly wider than my old one. Food for thought. Let's get back to where we were going with this. That was a total tangent tangent about my desk. I just know that it seems like I just wanted to, sorry about that, I'm trying to move my camera. I wanted to touch base on that because it seems like lately, um, when I look at uh, any of the forums that I belong to on Facebook, there's always questions about people's desks and specifically the Alex, like the Ikea situations. So, thought I would touch on that. I just ate my lunch, I went to Subway, I got Subway. I had to go to Shoppers and send a parcel because I sell clothes on Poshmark and I had sold something. I like to ship next day. I somehow missed the email that this person had purchased this like two days ago. So I was later than usual shipping it. That really sucks. But I got it out and it's Friday so at least it'll be moving for the weekend. Also, I kind of had some questions about a parcel that I'm receiving. I mean, an order from Shoppers and I pretty sure I told you guys about it and I was like, oh, you know, it should be here. We'll unbox it together. Uh, yeah. So it went from Ontario to Moncton, getting closer, to Fredericton, an hour away, to Quebec, six hours away. I'm not sure where it's going. It's not even going back where it came from. It came from Ontario. Now it's in Quebec. I'm just going to leave it alone until Monday, <laughs> see if it shows up. But anyway, I did get something to keep me through the afternoon of editing. So I'm editing from now, well, I'm gonna finish filming this, and then I'm editing, it's 2.24, um, until four o'clock. And then I have an appointment at 4.30. I really wanted to do my own nails, and there's just so much, right? Like, look at that, it has candy and chocolate, please. Anyway, I'm lollygagging because this is a chore that I really don't wanna do. I have my garbage can open next to me. Let's just open the drawer, and if there's anything in here you're not supposed to see, I'm just gonna be very sorry right now. First things first, I guess, let's start here. This is a one of these, the Expert Touch, and I actually have no idea why it's in there. So I'm gonna slide that back in there. I do need to cut some more of those. I'll probably cut like the rest of the package and get them just ready for use. This was my last installment of Werther's Original from Kathy at AR Nail Supply because she always, 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 always sends them to me and I love that. So I'm gonna set those up there because they will go back in here. Do you ever, do you ever forget you bought something? That ever happened? Especially off of like maybe Amazon? Never happens to me, never. Aren't these glasses cute? They're clear. Oh my God, I love them. A little ring light action. Oh, they're so dirty. I love them. <laughs> they wash so bad. But those are adorable. I only vaguely remember buying them. Okay. So if anybody wants the link to them, I'll try to add them to my Amazon store. I'll see if, when I got them. And yeah, I'll try to add them. Those are awesome. Blue light glasses. Plain safety glasses. Then I have, these are just Amazon blue light glasses. These are also Amazon <coughs> blue light glasses. This is a chrome that I got from Kathy Air Nail Supply. It's the same version of the chrome that I'm wearing. I haven't used it yet. Do plan to at some point, just haven't yet, and laid it up there just because it's new, and that's just kind of where it fell. Couple of acrylics here that I thought I was going to mess with the, uh, mess with 
the other day and it did not. So we'll put those back in a drawer where we'll never find them until we clean that drawer. This is a bracelet that I've worn since high school. Now I used to have can you see that? You can kind of see that. I have a scar right there. I had to have some surgery. The spot that was there before the surgery, this bracelet covered perfectly. So I used to wear this cuff and that's my story. Money, money bags. So that's where my like $5 bills go. Scissors and pens, pencils. I do kind of keep some random stuff in here. So this is like for my Archon mount. This is the easiest place to keep some of this camera stuff because it's so small. I have a lip thing, lip stuff. I have a uh, Jimmy rigged cut off tape measure and that was from when I was doing press-ons. I used to use it a lot. I still do use it a little bit. Things for putting footage onto my iPad. There's really nothing in here that can be like thrown out. There's some stuff in here that I probably don't necessarily like need need, but not to be thrown out. That's a nail art brush. So that doesn't need to be in there, but nothing really for garbage. So I'm going to put the scissors in there. This is the other chrome that I got from Kathy. Um, it was kind of in there for the same reason. I just didn't want it to be anywhere else right now um, so that I could get a hold of it because it is new. My remote for the mini split so that I have it close at hand. Gift certificate book. I keep that on the top shelf for obvious reasons. This was my notepad. Oh, this is my COVID operational plan. I don't even know if we still need it, but doesn't really take up any space. It's flats, papers, um, and they're all together. So I'll just put that back in there because I don't even know whether we need it or not. This can be thrown out. I overpaid on my phone, my last phone bill with Bell. So they had to send me a check. Headphones, those are always staying. Always, always, always. Memory card, probably shouldn't be in there. I didn't realize that I even had an extra one. This is for my camera. It can go back in the in the case. These belong to my bigger Canon. This goes on, I think, one of my tripod. So that can go in with the other camera stuff too because that's not like one of the camera things that I'm gonna actually use frequently. A glasses case, I believe those clear glasses I think came in this. So definitely gonna keep that because they should actually be in there. It would keep them from getting so dirty. These are nails that I was doing and kind of lost interest in. Just gonna throw them. I only had two of them done. So that frees up another stand. Scrunchy, I mean, I don't I don't really have scrunchy sized hair anymore. I'm also not gonna throw it out. McDonald's gift card. Mm. I guess I don't know if there's anything on that, but I'm willing to find out. These were Christmas gifts. That's what that was. And that was a leftover. Okay, so tech tape, which is like tape that you can wrap your fingers in if you're chafing or whatever. You can use it for a lot of different things. This is a catalog of calendars and such for a company that I order retail from. I don't need this. I use their, their website. It's a ring that goes with my practice hand. These are cords that go with the camera. I think I'm gonna put all of this stuff back in the camera bag. I got this client tracking book and I was using it for COVID tra tracking because well because doing it the other way with pieces of paper got really to be too much okay so I'm gonna put that back in there I'm gonna put my operational plan back in there and then I'm going to do the gift certificates on top this is a bracelet it's magnetic I kind of kept it around for the practice hands. I'm gonna put the glasses back in here for right now because I want them to fit. So I want them to have a space in here. Keeping the bracelet, getting the camera stuff from home. Pens and pencils go back. Remote and money. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. So glad I did that. I'm gonna put these where they belong. Actually, I'm gonna put them right in here so that they're separated a little bit. So that's probably it for this vlog. I am going to edit the last vlog, eat my snacks, take the garbage out, and go home after I didn't put my watch on after I edit. I hope you subscribe down below if there's anything you wanna link for if you don't see it. Um, comment or DM me on Instagram. You can always find me there. There's also a link to my Instagram down below. And I will see you guys next time.